Hi, I'm Cameron, I'm an adventurer filmmaker and photographer and I'm currently here at Sun Peaks Resort in British Columbia, Canada. It's New Year's Day and we're spending a couple of days here in the resort for a little bit of a warm-up before we head to the Caribous in the heart of British Columbia for a week of heli skiing adventures with Pure Powder. So I thought I would give a little bit of a behind the scenes look at a heli skiing film and photo shoot. I would say about 40% of our guests come out and do a warm up and we're here to help organise the best possible warm up depending on the lodge you're going to. So for Caribous, which is our most northerly heli ski lodge, Sun Peaks works perfectly because it's en route from Kamloops and Kelowna. Easy stop off, it's a lovely ski in ski out resort and absolutely ideal for a couple of days of resort skiing. We're exploring the backside of the mountain here, lovely gladed runs, so even though it's not perfect weather, we've still got visibility and actually snow quality is great, hasn't snowed for a bit, uh, but we're still finding soft snow and great skiing. Hello and welcome to the Caribou's Lodge. We've just arrived here after getting a transfer from Sun Peaks and drove about four hours just south of Vailmont to the CMH heli ski staging area where we were then flown in by helicopter to the lodge because it's the only way that you can access the accommodation. There are no roads and it's quite a spectacular way to be introduced to this incredible scenery and location. And just checking into the room now, and we've got a little bit of downtime before we do our safety training and protocol ahead of our first day of skiing tomorrow. It's going to switch to another beacon I have buried here. So I'll get everyone to do that. You can come over here, get the smallest number you can, press mark. And then what if you witness someone in the avalanche? What, what would is, your is it still going or yeah it let's let's say you just see it start and then the person doesn't even know don't take your eyes yeah. off the spot yeah don't take your eyes off them you can yell Lock avalanche it. right i know but it's, 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 sure it's going down. yeah your own safety is important as well for sure <coughs> yeah you want to make sure that if you can avoid being in the avalanche you'd absolutely do that and then not taking your eyes off them is, is a really important thing so the last scene point, like if they go under, you want to remember where they were so that you can start your search at that location. And then clues, like I put that helmet there, that's a definite clue. Um, also common sense, like where is the path and where could it go, right? It, you're not going to be searching uphill if people were below you and that's where the avalanche started. Just time for relax and explore the lodge a little bit and can't wait to get started and get out into these stunningly beautiful mountains and hopefully have some great powder skiing adventures over the course of the next few days.
The whole guiding started in 1965. Uh, one of our founders, Hans Moser, and his friend Leo Grillmeier, they started going ski touring a lot here in the, in the Canadian Rockies. And uh, eventually, you know, like the, the guests they had, they were skinning up the mountain. And one guest said, You know, like Hans, if we would have that new thing, the helicopter, we would be up here at uh, you know, nine in the morning, not at three in the afternoon. And then Hans was a uh, you know, he was an after wild chore, there was no money, you know, and uh, and then he said nobody would have the money to pay for that. And then the guest said, you know what, if you hire a helicopter, I bring the guests. And eventually that's actually how the first trip started. And then also from the guiding, at that time there was no books, there were no avalanche specialists in, in that means. And so basically they, they were starting to pioneering the whole thing where you ski tour, you go up and you maybe do one run down the mountain, but now with the helicopter you could do four, five, six. So that kind of like changed the whole guiding. It became more uh, six, seven runs a day. Here at the Caribous, our heli skiing program is a four group program. So we'll take uh, four groups out. Um, groups of roughly somewhere between eight and ten guests and in two of those groups we have tail guides as well so we'll take them out skiing um, typically you'll get between sort of six and twelve runs a day depending on the conditions and how far away from the lodge we go so the caribou mountains here were the second area that uh, CMH started and it was kind of the first area that they really looked at and said hey this is a ski area we need to make this into our second heli ski lodge. Um, they did a little ski traverse through the area and uh, chose the canoe valley here as the perfect site for the lodge. It's a super nice mix of beautiful tree skiing, nice long tree runs, um, beautiful alpine glacier runs, anything from mellow to aggressive uh, and it's just a really super nice mix of everything. We've just wrapped up day two of heli skiing with Pure Powder and CMH here in the Caribous in British Columbia and we've enjoyed another fantastic day. Got in some great powder turns and managed to get some terrific shots of everybody in the group and some great footage as well and the snow has been falling pretty much all day which is a very welcome sign. It also means that because the cloud has come in that the helicopters have been grounded so we've called the day a little bit shorter but that's giving people an opportunity to uh, chill out, enjoy the hot tubs, enjoy a drink at the bar, sit by the fireside, play a few board games and that sort of thing and it also gives me the opportunity to get the drone out and capture just some ambient footage of the lodge and the local surroundings. Because the helicopters are grounded, we've been given special permission to be able to do that, which is fantastic. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Get the drone up in the air and capture some of this beautiful scenery here in the heart of the Columbia Mountains.
It's day four of heli skiing here at the Caribous and we've had another brilliant morning skiing some fresh snow. There was about 10 to 15 centimeters last night and was out with the fourth different group. So there's been 35 people on the trip and I've been capturing shots of each of them, trying to get them uh, a memory that they can take home and get a few snaps and a few clips. We had some good safe skiing this morning. Uh, the issue around lunchtime was that the fog started to get thicker and thicker. And uh, it's one thing to go up through the fog, uh, but when you have to start fighting too hard to get to the landings, and then the pickups get even more clagger, we just had to bring folks home for lunch. We gave it a little bit of time to sort itself out, and we did a little flight check right now. And although the landings are somewhat more open than they were, uh, the fog at the pickups is quite thick, and it's still moving around quite a bit. So the uh, safety margin we need to have people skiing in the mountains right now just isn't there. So uh, we've called the day and we're going to do some of the biking and a little bit of crate climbing and then we'll see what tomorrow brings. And here's one of the main men himself, Rocco. Really bad news, our beer ran out, we have to go to town to get more. We will be back. That's the real reason the helicopter's been uh, landed. I'm using a Canon R5 as my primary camera, which is weather sealed and pretty much using the 24 to 70 to capture most shots, but also I brought out the 100 to 500 telephoto lens as well, which has been getting some really sharp, crisp images. Now, I've also had a couple of GoPros that I've been wearing and trying to capture some of the behind the scenes shots that you'll see here. The drones that I brought out with me have captured some footage when the helicopters have been grounded. I'm not allowed to fly them when the helicopter's in the air. It's been a, a terrific project to be involved in, to be able to shoot out here. I feel very fortunate and very lucky to have been asked to come and capture the week and capture this environment. It's a place that feels very much like a spiritual home. It was somewhere that I came to in 2005 as a ski instructor and I've returned back to Canada a number of times since. Skiing is a huge passion in my life and has been there since I was 14 and it's been a terrific vehicle for me to be able to experience the world. If I think back to being at school, I learned to ski on a dry ski slope. I also developed pictures in a dark room and it's kind of bringing those two passions of photography and skiing together in this remarkable environment, being able to capture some shots of people so that they can have some memories to take home with them has been just a dream job. And I'm very, very thankful and grateful to be out here. And the heli ski experience that I've had today, I've had one day in Iceland, which was terrific, but to be out here on a multi-day trip and mixing with different groups of people and being able to ski with them and hear their stories and chat to them really adds a sense of great camaraderie to the whole adventure. All right guys, so we just landed on a run called Christmas and Merry Christmas. We've got about 15 to 20 centimeters of fresh new snow on top of this run. So in some of the steeper terrain, some of the steeper rolls, you might see some of that snow sort of moving around you. So as we're skiing, just pay attention, give each other a little bit of extra space. Um, off the sticks here, as you can see, it's a bit shallow. So we'll just take it easy as we move into the run. Uh, What is great about CMH is they have huge tenures where they have exclusive access to the skiing. So to give you a sense of scale, one of our heli ski areas like the CMH Caribou's, which is where we are here, is equivalent to around 32 times the size of Verbier. It's a lot of skiing. Today we have to do 12 helicopters with seats up to groups of 8, 10, 11 people and 
So they came and also the guiding like some of us guys has been with the company for long and really the value of the company is, is like you, the guests who ski with us and then us staff here in the lodge but also on the mountain you know who who actually like I have been to example I've been 35 years you know and we have some guides they have been 45 years guiding and then we also have the younger guides coming in and and so like they come along and they learn and they gain experience and and that's like how it always has to be a replenishing over generations That's a wrap on day five of skiing with Pew Powder here at the Caribous and it's been a terrific week. We are now going to pack up and get on the bus ready to go back down to Kamloops where I'll be staying overnight before then getting a flight back to Edinburgh via London tomorrow so I'll be back home in about 48 hours time from now and uh, that helicopter coming in is just bringing in the last group so it's a rush to get everything ready and packed up at the lodge and then away we go sadly back home to the UK.